Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a monthly reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Alright. Let's get into it. Hope everybody's doing well. Capricorn. What's going on with my Capricorns? Ooh, Chariot and the Hermit. Spy card. Oh my goodness, Capricorn. What have you gotten yourself into here? Ugh. Alright. This is designed by you in the universe. Right, you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Capricorn, or Cancer or Capricorn, Cancer or Virgo here, or both, because both of them wanted to come out at the same time. But you've got your back turned to to somebody who's trying to charge in. You've gone deep, and I think you're paying attention to what is in front of you as opposed to whatever this mess is because it, this is a mess and I'm not gonna lie all right so we got the nine of pentacles in the distant past single happy free most recent past is the brand new beginning this hot passionate brand new beginning that is going to turn out or has turned out to be three of cups in the immediate future Factors affecting the situation is fighting and arguing, yelling at each other, saying things that are not real nice. The outside influence is confusion. Not being able to get your bound your your feet on the ground, Capricorn. This is so unlike you. Okay. Six of Wands. It's the hopes and fears. You're hoping that you're gonna be able to move away from this and get away from it. And the final outcome is an apology from a page of cups. Who's juggling things? Alright, let's get some more information. What is this chariot and this hermit about, Spirit? What is this chariot and this hermit about? Queen of Swords. Feel like you cut that off and stopped it right in its tracks. Yeah, you were disappointed about something that came out in the open. This could possibly be a Leo. But there's something you're definitely disappointed in right here. What is this page of wands? Or page, is it page of swords? My bad. You know what you want now. You know what you want. And it's just a matter of getting to that at this point. Ace of Wands, that brand new beginning, the shtick. Nine of Cups, what you wish for. You're being enlightened about and wish granted. This was something that you wished for. This is what you have to get past. Alright? That is your challenge, is this King of Cups. What is this Three of Cups, Spirit? What is this Three of Cups? There you are, Capricorn. Libra energy, justice. So, I do feel like you're going to get a message from somebody very, very soon. Maybe Aquarius from the past. Somebody's definitely got some toxic behavior here. And it's coming in the, in the immediate future. So you're about to receive a message from somebody who is sparkly. There's some healing that needs to be done. I think this person says everything you want them to say. Do you realize there are three people here? Whether that be you or them. 
Somebody's trying to come in and say what they want to say. This could be somebody new in your life, Capricorn. You could be stuck with somebody that you don't want to be stuck with. And there's somebody new coming in. And that brings three people into the situation. However, it's really hard to keep your senses if you're in the Five of Swords and the Two of Swords energy. So if you're meeting someone new, maybe we got to get done with the old before we start the new. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Page of Pentacles, yeah. You're like, how am I going to accept this offer? I'm still in a situation ship. I feel like that's what you're saying. I don't know what it is. Could be different. That's why you, you take what resonates and leave the rest. Ah. Got some haters here, Capricorn. Deciding on whether you want to transform this situation could be a Gemini or a Scorpio involved. But I think you're going to end this once and for all with that Five of Pentacles with one of these people. Either that or you're about to get ghosted by one of them. You're either doing the ghosting or somebody else is doing the ghosting here. But there's somebody definitely leaving a third party situation. They don't want to be in it no more. That's what all the fighting's about. What is the Two of Swords about, Spirit? You don't want to be there no more. Choose to not be there no more. Let something come to a complete end so you can have a brand new beginning. Because that's what that means. Are you going to choose the new beginning or are you going to go back to the old? Outside influence could be an Aries. It is the truth and nothing but the truth and a big yes. Okay? We have Aries. We have Leo. We have Judgment. We have Taurus. Hierophant. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. You're confused because there's too many choices, Capricorn. You're this single energy here. And then you've got this pushy, bossy Aries that wants to uh, tell you what to do. And then you've got, you're having the strength to overcome another situation that you may have brought back from the dead. They could be married. One of these people could be married. And, and now whatever it is that you chose to bring back from the dead wants you back. Could be an Aries, could be a Leo, could be a Taurus, could be a Scorpio. But that's why you got the birds in your hair all flying around because you just don't know what to do with all of these energies all at once. They're coming at you all at once. I feel like you're ready to cut them all off. Because it ain't, it ain't none of them's really offering you anything here. You're in the Nine of Pentacles energy. There's nobody offering anything here. It's just like a bunch of people coming in and trying to get you stuck. Got you paying attention. Page of Wands, Six of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the Magician. So somebody is definitely watching what they do right now. You're either hoping for this Brand new beginning in love and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody to bring you that Page of Pentacles to bring you that Ten Pentacle. Or you're fearing that this is the way things are going to go. You're about to get a message. Could be an age difference. A big one. The Page of Cups and, and yeah. The Emperor... To all these other people, yeah, there's definitely an age gap with somebody new or somebody from the past. I don't know. It, it feels new, but it feels old. I don't know what that means. There's that Six of Swords. I'm getting a big I'm sorry from this Two of Pentacles, this Page of Cups. 
and now somebody wants to invest in you because they used their intuition to get to the truth to heal themselves enough to see the truth and then we got this page of cups coming back to make an offer as well so you you do have a lot on your plate Capricorn you have a lot to choose from here I can't tell you what choice to make I can only tell you what the energies are free will and all can't tell you what to choose you've got to choose what to move on from and what to keep because I do feel like you're getting all your wishes granted they might not be the way you thought they were going to be but there's a lot of healing going on here within yourself and, and, and I feel like you've got your back turned to a lot of these people regardless of what they want you're about to get an apology from someone and then there's somebody else that wants to start a whole new thing with you so um, let's get some kippers okay message of concern family okay thoughts so either you or a family member is not feeling so hot and you're about to get a message I think it's a family member somebody that you should probably be really concerned about okay um, message of concern family room pathway concern you are concerned distant horizons and bad health or if you don't get off this merry-go-round that you're on with all these people maybe your health is suffering from it later on down the line after you've allowed people to, to cause you a lot of stress and feel like you're being pushed to your limits here but there's something you want above all else Paradise, don't we all? Happiness, expansion, and joy. This is what you want. And somebody's got outdated thinking. They keep playing the same thing over and over in their head. But there's someone who likes you that you're ignoring because you have a lot of options. But there's only one person here that's going to bring you to this Phoenix moment of growth. And like I said, I do feel like there's a significant age difference here with whoever you're dealing with. All right, let's get some shadow messages. Aries, I hope I will see you again sometime soon. Taurus, we are more alike than I like to admit. Gemini, I focused on you instead of my pain. Cancer, you did not break me. Leo, I hope you're happy for me. Virgo, I am happy that it's over. Libra, your body language says so much. <laughs> Scorpio. I don't really know you. Sagittarius. I understand you better now. Capricorn. I don't need your approval. Aquarius. I never used to look at you in that way. Aquarius. Pisces. I fantasize about you. And you to everyone else. I wondered how far this would go. 
those are your messages. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time.